Okay, another great command to use is align launch times at the earliest. So that's up here under the edit menu. Align launch times at earliest. And what this is good for is when you've been doing some sequencing or staggering and you either don't like the stagger that you've created because it's either too fast or too slow, you can begin again by realigning everything to the same point in time and then applying your stagger again. That's a good use for align at earliest. Or if you're, you're firing a bunch of things off and you want them all launched at the same time and they were drug on the timeline at different times, you can highlight all of them and then choose the align at, at the earliest launch time and it will line them all up on whichever one is earliest in the timeline. So here's an example where I'm going to move the timeline back of this stagger. And this stagger firing is going from the outside at, I think it's about a um, quarter of a second. So let's say we don't want that. We want to change it and make that a second apiece. So instead of having to realign each one of these and move them to the correct delay, we can simply highlight all of these and we're going to tell Finale to align every one of these comets up with the earliest launch time of the selected product. So now we've moved them all back into the same point in time, so they're no longer staggered. So if we play this, they're now all aligned at the precise moment in time. So now we can reapply a stagger at a different uh, time index. So once again, we've used the align to earliest point in time and I'm going to apply a new stagger at uh, a second instead of a quarter of a second. And now we've changed the amount of time in between each stagger. So as we watch that go, if we say, oh that's way too slow, no problem. We can get to this point where we can highlight and change the stagger on all of those um, and go back to the other.